Salty Peaks celebrating 25 years. Hey everybody, this is Zach from Salty Peaks Online here. Wanted to check out some videos. <laughs> Cut. Do I look like directly at the camera? Take three. Hey everybody, this is Zach from SaltyPeaks.com. We're gonna do a whole uh, set of videos for you about snowboarding knowledge, all the way up from picking out your first board for beginners, all the way up to those experts who've been riding for 30 years and just wanna find a new board to ride. So today, first thing we're gonna talk about is the shape or bend of the snowboard. You have basically two major bends and then a couple different varieties of those. First one is gonna be what we call camber. It's gonna be kind of your traditional frowny face shape. It's a real traditional shape, been used from skis for a very long time and pretty much snowboards forever. So a traditional shape like this camber shape is gonna be give you a lot more pop because it takes a lot of energy to force it down. So when it springs back, you get a lot of pop out of it for the park. Uh, it makes rail riding nice and easy, tends to lock on for your front backboard, stuff like that. Uh, contact points are constantly in the snow, on the snow, so you're getting a lot of control from this board, uh, but it can also lead to a lot of times when your edges catch when you don't want to and a lot of falling as well. So the second shape we're going to talk about is what they call rocker or banana shape. Um, obviously you can see big big old happy face, the exact opposite of what rocker or camber is. And the reason this came about is people were thinking about it and camber is kind of an old traditional ski shape. And skiers stand in the middle of their skis for the most part, maybe a little bit back, but somewhere in the middle. Snowboarders, we obviously stand more closer to the tip and tail. So we don't press down the camber in the middle as much. So if we have, by having a natural rocker shape, when we stand on it, the board tends to go a little more flatter. So rocker shapes are gonna be great for riding powder. Um, they're also really fun in the park for multiple reasons. So first, for when you're riding powder, you're standing on your board, you just lean back, you drive your nose straight up out of the snow. Really great for riding that deep stuff. And then for park stuff, uh, because your edges aren't necessarily digging into the ground consistently, it's a little more forgiving. Uh, great kind of shape for beginners and stuff as well because you're not going to catch that toe edge all the time, face plant all the way down the mountain. And also for more advanced riders, like it a lot because it really allows tail presses, nose presses, nose slides, tail slides, stuff like that um, in the park. It can be a little squirrelier in the middle because it's a big teeter-totter basically. Uh, so at high speed on really flat kind of groomer trails, you will get a little wiggle from it. Um, but still a really fun shape, definitely worth trying. So another popular shape we're gonna to find today, uh, it's gaining more popularity every year and so, is gonna be what, basically a hybrid shape. It's gonna be rocker and camber combined. Um, so you'll find a couple different variations of different brands, but basically you're gonna have rocker in the middle, camber underneath foot or close to underneath your feet, and then usually just a little bit of extra rocker on the tip and tail to kind of help this nose come up. So with this shape, you're getting the best of both worlds, still getting a little bit of pop from the camber underneath your feet, still getting the catch free edges from the rocker on the edge, and still getting um, a little bit of rocker in the middle to help just overall help that nose drive up in the powder, which is awesome. Um, board kinda is an all around board, do a little bit of everything. Ultimately, every board shape and bend is kinda up to your personal experience and what you're looking to get out of it. Uh, really versatile shape, uh, a lot of companies are doing it. Um, it's gained so much popularity that even Never Summer, who was one of the first ones to do it, makes her entire line only in this shape. Um, so that's kind of something that's been growing in the last couple of years and obviously they're standing behind it and love that. So the last shape we're going to talk about is a directional camber rocker shape. Um, this particular shape is Burton's S Rocker. Uh, a couple different companies do it though. Basically you're going to have traditional camber shape but it's going to be offset more on your tail side. Um, so, and you're also going to have offset binding, so you're going to have a longer nose with more of a rocker shape to it. Basically, this is going to be your deep powder stick. So, for riding those really deep days, or hopefully those days we're going to get this year out in Utah, where every day is two feet deep, this allows you, once you stand on it, you do press that camber, and the rocker comes straight up, shooting that nose into the sky, giving you tons of float and tons of great feel through those deep pow turns. Be surfing the white stuff in no time. Awesome. Well, that pretty much covers the bends for you. Hopefully, you got a lot of ton of information from that. Once again, this is Zach from SaltyPeaks.com. If you have any questions or anything, definitely hit us up at the store or online. And we're doing a ton more videos on snowboard stuff, so stay tuned for that. And the next one is going to be on how to pick the size of your snowboard um, for you kind of beginners and never ridden before. So stay tuned.